Happy Friday. Welcome to Before You Weekend. Today we are snatching chains and burning tattoos. Like, oh, <laughs> what? what wow. That? Sorry, I, the verse is in my head. I can't. Ah, oh, man. You were just waiting. You've been burning. <laughs> and I've been you, dreading. DJ plots <laughs> intros. You know, I'm going to say know. this. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Listen, that's the hottest <laughs> disc track over us we're going to hear this year because after saying sorry, there's going to be nothing else. I can't believe you apologized. Like, such an anti-climax. We were looking forward to that. Because I was even like, the verse he dropped, mm. I was like, okay, he's setting, he's setting up something. Like, get, get everybody's attention, drop this like okay verse yeah. type vibe. Then you know it's whatever throwaway verse, and then I'm gonna come with the project. And I'm gonna drop some of the hottest. So well, Cole now. Yeah, yeah, Cole. Mm-hmm. But Cole's response was flat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. I thought it was a, like a setup. Yeah. Like he was setting up for to like. Come in. You know, because like when you when you throw the ball on the board, ah, uh, it's just like oh, he threw the ball. Yeah. On. Then you just like hit this dunk. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. You you know, you know what's sad with Cole's response when I heard the response, he basically said this is a warning shot. Kendrick did not send a warning shot. Mm-hmm. He came for you. He said, there's no big three. It's only me. There's no warning here. Yeah. But also at the same time, I'm just like, um, I think Kendrick had to come out like that just off the last, the last time he did something like that. Mm. For me, it's always him, which I don't think is necessary, really. Mm. Like, he is one of the best rappers Mm. in that three, you know. And I might I might get you know pulled up on, but like rap wise, it's between Kendrick and Cole. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and then you just can't deny how big Drake is. I don't care how how heavy of a. I'm gonna say this, and it's probably gonna upset you. It probably is. It's It's going to upset me. I know it. (laughs) We can't do the Kendrick and Drake comparison. Yes, one is an artist, yeah. mm-hmm. yes. and one, one is, is a, a content creator. Ah, oh, that upset me definitely. Why would okay. you say that? Why would do you, you have bodyguards? Okay. <laughs> yes. Guys, no. Drake can start OnlyFans no, and it will be fine. No, no, hey, that's rude. you're just getting worse and worse. So Stop. Stop. <laughs> that is disrespectful. <laughs> he's like, been planning this. He's just like, yeah, yeah. He said, he said, he said, I know exactly how I'm gonna get these guys. He said, he said, I know exactly how I'm gonna get. Content creator. I'm not trying to provoke you guys. Nope, you are. He's the same guy masturbating on camera. No, no, you are. You are. You're trying to provoke everybody in the room. Wow. (laughs) This guy, dog. This guy. Audacity. Just grab a cup. You watching before your weekend. 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 Hey, you watching before your weekend. Yeah, let's get into the real news. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> so this is what this is what really stood out for me this week. French company Canal Plus is buying multi choice for thirty five billion. Canal Plus, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've okay. been loading that one for a minute. So are they closed now? They've been it's, loading it since last. It's year. coming to it. It's like every pastor says, it's coming to a close. <laughs> you know, uh, this thing of of everything turns into a sermon, <laughs> like. We'll get into that, but what does it mean now for for multi choice? Um, it means a French company will be owning that stream, that pro- just like that, every, that avenues, just okay. like everything else. In and in Africa. terms of the bouquet that you, we've got access to right now, does it mean now we're gonna? Start I don't learning? think that would change. My yeah. only concern is. If you're buying a media platform, you buy media platforms to control narratives. Mm-hmm. That's that my is, concern. Yes, that's what I'm concerned about because now it's not our people invested. In telling our stories, yeah, that's my problem. That's my concern. Yeah, but uh, Mzansi magic, <laughs> <laughs> Mzansi movies, or whatever that one is called. Eyaditori, you know that uh, bioscope. Luxury bioscope. Luxury bioscope. Thank you. That's what I was going for. Like, who's going to tell that story? It's not going to be relevant to them anymore. Like, they well, want to tell. At the same time, how else do you infiltrate Africa? Multi choice is in Africa. It's not even just South Africa. So mm. if I want you to think something, if, if I just put it in your ear for, for enough time, you're going to think this is the truth. That's my only concern. And I, I'm not saying Canal Plus is going to try be evil or whatever. Yeah. My only concern is why is, there French, why is there a French company so interested in buying an African platform? Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, that's also the, you know, the business of it does make sense 
in the fact that Africa is an emerging market, emerging market right now. Yes, uh, Canal Plus can't open a shop here. We nine out of ten, we might not, because like Netflix timing was right. Yeah. Now like Show makes is a whole chat. Yeah. So if Canal Plus try to step in, because they're in the same kind of lane, if they try to step in and open shop like yeah. new building, da da da. da they're already going to have to compete against Netflix 100%. and Showmax. Yeah. Showmax is already kicking Netflix's ass. Mm. Yeah, that's right also now. an easy choice. Right? Yeah. Mm. Exactly. So what's the easiest way to go? Yeah. Take solo, solo the big one. Solo the big one and put your name behind it. Um, uh, fun fact, they're actually buying it from... It was, so MultiChoice was never South African or African owned. Mm. Well, well, not never. Apologies. Mm-hmm. It more recently, it's not. Okay. It was owned by Tencent. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it was interesting when I found that out as well, because I worked with a certain company that's got their that they have their offices across multi choice, and when I was in this office, they're like, "Oh, the reason why we're here is because they own us." Yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh, sorry, sorry, Tencent own, owns us. Mm-hmm. And we're working with those guys because they own them. Sheesh. I was like, oh, they're off this thing. And they're so qu- silently. Behind it doesn't like seems a, like it doesn't no, like a loud yeah, purchase. Yeah. It's like, which, which, which is, uh, when, you say that, when you say it like that, it's very interesting because I was watching this short form documentary explaining how the porn industry works. And we just find out who owns the biggest platforms like Pornhub and Braz and whatever. And mm-hmm. it ties back to some Jewish Israelites. Of, of course, yeah. <laughs> that was you weird. Tell, I like, think you told me. Yeah, you told this me. This is interesting. And then mm-hmm. they, and then they, 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 then in the video they asked. So guess who owns OnlyFans? <clears throat> they tied it back to company after company, and mm-hmm. they got to the person, also another Jewish Israelite. Aren't mm-hmm. these guys supposed to be the holy people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What's the holy? other guy was actually a rabbi. Was a former rabbi. Yes. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> guys, this is weird. I'm not mm-hmm. shocked. Yeah. I'm. I'm really not shocked. I'm not like. Because if you know at the end of the day, if it's if it's if it's big and it makes money, mm-hmm. it's owned by a Jewish person somewhere. Yeah, right? I guess we're obviously it's... only like maybe just the newer entities, maybe not yeah. so, uh, possibly not so, especially where Africa's concerned. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the 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 relevant families still still do what they need to yeah. do. What's interesting now in America um, is that. The whole BRICS currency conversation is, you know, like when something comes up as a conversation and then it's almost like maybe like hoax or fake news type vibe mm-hmm. or just sensational, yeah. I guess. Um, news is Bill Gates, Bill Gates Foundation, or he's all, they dumping basically their stocks mm. because of the dollar weakening. Yeah. They're already starting to dump. So that whole transition is actually happening. Hmm. They already started to implement strategy to kind of save the entity, yeah. pretty much. Because if that, if the dollar drops while you're still holding stocks that are dollar valued, you're gonna lose the value of mm-hmm. them, mm-hmm. pretty much. So when I heard that, I was like, "That was crazy." So it's actually like it's so not that it's not gonna like it's impossible to happen, but I think the fact that it's actually happening because you already know that it starts in the back end first before it hits front. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And then you know, my brother sent me that. Shout out to my boy, he sent me that link. Hmm. So it's a weird year. Yeah, it's very interesting time. Very interesting. The Gauteng Premier Panyaza Sufi and, and the Minister of Transport, alongside the CEO of Sanral, is scrapping e-tolls this Friday. Well, today. There yeah, but it's no all e-tolls. owned by, by French. Have you ever by, paid? By a French company also. Really? Yeah, when you were busy saying, can I, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. all owned by a French company. They said, when you ask about, have, about paying, they yeah. say no one has to pay anything. No, so that's they're not cool. going to chase I'm you. I'm just saying, have you ever paid? Like for some people, oh, no. it's kind of like, nah. we've never. I feel like South Africa is like, no one asked for this. We didn't ask for it. So oh. whatever costs incurred, ah, guys, it's on you. Yeah. I mean, the heart behind it kind of makes sense, like what looking off the roads and quality and whatever else. Look, which which road? roads? The highways. For example, I remember, oh. I remember my car. Where, where <laughs> we there together? No, I don't know if we were there together. It's it was possible. one of like Casper Phillips. Okay. I don't know if we were there together. No, no, no. Uh, when you did F and B, you did it with them Z. Ah, okay. So I wouldn't. 
hitting home, my car broke down on one of the on one of the highways. Mm. What Sunroll does, you told me, they have yes. cameras okay. on on the highway. So if you not if you can't if they if your car's like dormant, yeah, they come yeah, and yeah. help you without calling AA, yeah, without even you can't calling be on the road. Okay, I get that. Yeah, I get that too. But that should be a government thing. Yeah. You know, like our government mm-hmm. uh, cares for, because they know <clears> the, the, the level of crime in South Africa and you are prime for something to happen to you, mm-hmm. right? That should be a government thing. Mm-hmm. Patrol, Nji. RAF should be doing that. RAF should be, uh, thank you. There's a reason why they are RAF. That's a, that's a good point. So, and you understand? Yeah. So yeah. that means now they're going to stop it. When, but that's when probably the loophole to make money from government. Expose the things they're not doing by registering a company and just do it. They'll pay for you. They'll pay for. They'll pay to do it. Or they'll just take the idea and then they say, "Ah, guys." They'll take the idea and not do it. That's what exactly. the government does. Exactly. Yeah, but the thing is, if if there's ah, TK is going to make a hundred million. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me and my friends are going to make a hundred million. TK, mm-hmm. who are you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the other problem. That sucks. It really does suck, though. I got questions. If <laughs> this one might be tricky to navigate. Because I think it might pull on some strings. Does anything I, coming out of your mouth not? <laughs> I'm I'm, I haven't thought about how I want to ask you guys this because it's also you guys at home. Um, okay. Should you be fired at work for cheating? Cheating. If on you one. are married, it's good. And you get caught cheating, should you be fired? Not not cheating in the office with yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cheating. I get the. I get the, the, the logic behind it. Because if you can cheat on your wife, you're going to be able to cheat on whatever you're working on. We can't really trust mm. you, that kind of thing. But it's not like, it's not a, it's not a first. Because that's true. For me, if you, can, if you are comfortable with something as simple as throwing litter, you, you, you've got no consideration for your environment, things like, I already judge you. Like, you and I cannot be friends. You, we can't be in a relationship. We I can't be know, friends. Guys. Ellen said, "If you can, if you can throw litter, you can kill an animal. You can. <laughs> no, like legit. Why are you throwing it? And then people that say, um, you, it's job creation. Do you understand? <laughs> oh, that's, I hate that. Yeah, it's I hate so that. Thank rude. you. That's so if, so rude. but they've been doing it. Remember, like in sport and stuff, um, you start losing sponsorships, all of that stuff. So you you might not be fired." but you're going to lose out on a whole lot of stuff that you've been gaining. Okay, so this is my frustration. If I'm bringing you two billion rand in, in your company because mm. of my work, not how I feel about things at home, yeah. you shouldn't have to fire me because I was cheating on my wife. No, eventually you're going to bring the, con- uh, the company into disrepute somehow, some way. Um, somehow you're going to Yeah, I mean, I, I, I also don't agree. The yeah. only thing is, which, which story are you originating this question from? <laughs> I've got a few. A few. <laughs> give, me, give me your top two. The, the oh, closest the one right now yeah. is Selomake. What now? What happened? Selomake is getting divorced. It's, I think it's his third divorce. Um, he was caught texting his ex. Now, this is okay. what... This okay. what the, the, so they don't say... The article doesn't say he was cheating. But, of course, the way they would frame it yeah. or the way they would make it sound is like, oh, this guy's been doing stuff. For yeah. Them. Okay. Um, so, as a result, he lost... Is it budget insurance? The budget is insurance is dropping. He lost it. He lost that. You. And I think there's another thing. They said now his role's coming. I don't know where he's acting. His role's coming to an end. Like, that's what... I'm, I'm confused. If I'm doing this in my own personal capacity where I'm not okay. paid... Okay. Why are, you, why are you there? And I get that you're going to bring up the mor- morality clause, aren't you? Is that what you wanted to bring up? My guy knows me. <laughs> I'm the contractual guy. I'm the contract guy. I hear the morality clause. I, I don't know. I don't think it's a valid... This is what I said when the Katleho thing happened. This is what yeah. I said. I said, had that incident happened and we didn't know about it, that guy would be fine and would have his job. The problem is, when you yeah. come out, you are Silo who's on the budget insurance ad. Mm-hmm. That is the problem. That is what I'm talking about. In every contract that I have in front of me, it says, during the term of this contract... Insurance you... doesn't cover your marriage. It covers your assets. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? If sorry? I'm cheating, but I'm the face of budget insurance, we know what insurance is there for. This no, has, no, 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 You can't no, no, marry no, those no, two no, ideas no. and go, yeah. Your contract says, this is what your contract says. Your contract says, during the term of this contract, you will not put us in a situation. Don't because cheat. <laughs> It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter Whatever what Whatever the it case is, may though. be, don't do it. And I hear you. I hear you. Because personal is personal. Because for me, it was like, 
at the same time, there is somebody currently right now at budget insurance or at wherever outsurance. The other guy was at outsurance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's cheating on his partner right now in the office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? But no one knows about it. No one. And that's that's the problem. And my whole thing is, even if we go back to Celtics coach, yeah. remember that incident? Yes. Mm-hmm. Same. If no one knows about it, everything is fine. Do your thing, my brother. That's why and the guys. That's will... why they're not going to the finals. You should have let them cheat wow. in peace. <laughs> cheat in peace. TK, oh, sorry. I I'm sorry, you guys. These to, are just yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah. These are jokes. He is joking, right? He he's doesn't practicing. believe. Yeah, he doesn't believe what he's talking about. No, but like, and I, and I. That's what I'm saying. I hear what you're saying. It's just that, at the end of the day. To contract says another similar incident was the girl from from Google who got fired for taking. Remember that one? Mm. She got fired for taking content. Oh, she had a office. she had a vlog or something. Yeah. Yes, and then they, I think they found it. That's the Apple story, right? The chick who worked Google at Apple. or Apple. Yeah, one I of kind the two. of kind of get that, but it, yeah, it's similar because the only thing there is that it's in your clause. It's that's under the confidentiality clause. Yeah, that you probably yeah. signing. Yeah. That you can't just be going around to, because even the people that do the day in the life content at their work, I think nine out of ten the ones I've seen, the screen is facing them. Mm-hmm. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. camera. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. Cameras facing them when they're at the office. Yeah. And even office content is very short. Yeah. Versus Gary V. It's his company. He can walk around with the camera all he wants. That's he's he's the CEO. Yeah. He can shoot whatever he wants to shoot. You can't. Okay, so explain mm. your re-explain your reason again, because you're saying no, you should be fired if you if you caught cheating. You're saying if you can cheat, you can you're going to cheat in the company. You're going to cheat in the company. <laughs> you're going to cheat as in your well. work. You're fine. Like you're so you're so you're calm going to steal about 16 it. Million. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're, we're there. I knew someone's gonna bring up the story. <laughs> You go. You go to steal sixty million, my boy. You're not gonna sign off the bursary. Yeah, you're because the line is to it's, your, it's, your friends. It's it's that that thin, man. So 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 what Ellen is saying is that that guy was probably also cheating, <laughs> <laughs> most likely. Okay, so for those who don't know, there's what, a where is he? What what um, kind of what do they call it? Has it tribe? I need to find the correct um, word for this. Moima. Ethnic group. That Kimo must, in. Be, that must be part of the Twana. Twana. Yeah, Twana. Really? Twana. It's not closer. Sure, sure. No, nah, it's not. No, 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 it's not. They've got tendencies, those ones. So for those who don't know, um, the company KPMG has a position. <laughs> I've never heard of this position until this story. Like a bursary I think, specialist. No, 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 no. I think, I think it's in addition to whatever role. He oh, actually yeah. Has. So KPMG, I think, I think yeah. yes. in our comments, hopefully you're watching. <laughs> He's saying, what's the actual role? Because I've never heard of it. a bursary. What's your job as a bursary specialist? Yes, I know. You to hand pay. them out. Huh? You hand them out. Make sure that That's the right what you people pay correct, to do? Uh, receive the, the, the correct bursaries. Yes. We have computers so, for that. Uh, it's putting in, in information that says do it nah, and process. Nah, nah, not what? Yeah. Okay, he's getting paid to press. He's getting paid to press. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this man stole 16.5 million of funds that was for university students. Yep. Man's 32. I think, as correct me if I'm wrong, from what I gathered in the article, married, he's got a kid. He stole, the way he stole money is he put money in his friends' accounts mm-hmm. and he told his friends, you will send the money back to me. Yeah. But of course, he probably said, you guys can keep some because... Yeah. 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 <clears throat> As an auditing company, yes. there has to be a level of logic and intelligence. I just want to ask them, how do they feel? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to ask. Why, why did it take so long is my question. Because it took... I mean, how long are you doing investigations? on this thing because now somebody must have found out why did you only find out like as of late because we don't really know exactly at which time the court procedures are happening now they might have found out you know a little bit they probably found out a a long time ago they just needed to prove the case or unless it was on the back end the varsity said hey oh kpmg we have an agreement but we haven't received anything because these people should be you know paid for by you sorry that's something that came up right yeah um not extensively but there is one a piece of conversation where this girl says that um, she hasn't received 
um, her birth series from KPMG. Yeah. KPMG then released a statement and said that um, according to our records, f- records all birth series have gone out Excellent. successfully. So we're not sure what you're talking about. So you see already it could have started in a conversation like that, as you're saying, like from the varsities or whatever, mm. maybe even from the students who applied, yeah. who were saying, I was approved, but I didn't get it. Then it's like, well, what are you talking about? Yeah. Our records say everything is good. It can't just be one And then they maybe well. looked into, yeah. no man, let's double check. So it's like, no man, we've been getting a lot of these. TK, can you guys just check that? Because these people are saying they haven't and our records say they have, right? Yeah, just double check there. Yeah. And then it's like they picked up on something different. It's like, yo, there's a red, f- there's something here, there's an error here. Mm-hmm. And then, like you're saying, you kind of, you kind of compile it over time. Yeah. I think, and also sometimes, it's they let you go for a little bit. Yeah, it's a I, lot I, of money I, to, I was gonna, to just here's here's a rope. I mean, Keep but going. Like Sixteen is not really. Uh, I, I was thinking it's not really that. It's much. not bad. It's that KPMG. Much, but it's enough. It's enough for you to hang yourself on. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I was thinking, um, when you have a company of that size, you're so used to things just moving and working that you get so used to it happening that you don't even double check. Did you do it? Yeah, you don't go, sure. can I see if you did it? Because yes. you're used to this. The system yeah. works. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. break the system. Mm-hmm. And they probably, he probably got away with it like that. Like, oh, yeah, they're not going to double check and search my emails. Because they, they know I've been here for X amounts of years. They know I've done, I've done the job. Until... Hold but on. How much do yeah. you think you can take with never being caught? Right? So you 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 say that okay, you calculate um if I can pay off my house, my car, or get a new car, XYZ, whatever it is, right? I need that amount of money and then I need this amount extra. How much do you think you can take from a company? And I'm not encouraging anything, so don't be silly. Um <laughs> but before true. just it's just a little disclaimer. Before getting <clears throat> caught. You probably have to take it in batches, right? If you're gonna like, even if you were to take sixteen million, you don't yeah. take it in one go. I feel like that was no, such no. A yeah, problem. it was no, it was definitely over take, time. Didn't take or was it yeah. in? It, it would was, make only sense over time because yeah. he's been living a certain lifestyle over time. Okay, mm-hmm. that was also the other thing. My conversation was a lifestyle audit because that's how Hush Puppy gets caught. And I was like, "You're an idiot, bro. It's 2024. You know, Hush Puppy happened about five, six years yeah. ago. Hush Puppy got caught because of lifestyle. It was mm-hmm. a lifestyle audit because it's like." That here's this prestigious guy. Mm-hmm. He lives in between Dubai and actually ran away from Nigeria. But he lives in Dubai. He lives a life that makes no, no sense. sense. What does he do? Question mark. Mm-hmm. No one could answer that question. Mm-hmm. And so when you do a deep, deep dive, then not only do you find out that he's scamming, you find out he's scamming on a whole other level, like it's a whole operation that he's running. Mm. Yeah. And that's how that goes down. But even him, it wasn't, oh, we found out today, we arrest him tomorrow. Mm. Oh, they let him hang. Yeah. They let him hang because they let him do the operations and whatever, and then they pay, they're pulling um, the evidence, yeah. you know? And everything on social media today is submissive and uh, admissive in yeah. court. So, fun fact, the his wife, girlfriend, mm-hmm. um, not Hush Puppy, yeah, KPMG yeah. guy, um, she deleted everything. When it, when it hit, she deleted everything of social media where they are concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just, so it just looks no like it's evidence. her and a baby. And I'm like, and everybody keeps saying, but uh, she didn't, uh, I'm t-. she didn't know. Turn off your comments too. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know. I'm sorry. You, you think she knew? Uh, I think she knew. <clears throat> There's definitely not. She may have not known the details of the operation. So don't tell me, but thank you. But she knows that there's somewhere there's a there's a play that I'm running with a couple of guys at work, and we nice. The details of it, don't worry about it. If I'm committing a crime, my partner's not knowing what the crime is. That's what we keep saying, but they don't. Know. Nah, but then he doesn't. Ah, you are going to talk about cheating and getting fired for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your argument, Jeff? Please, please no, frame it. I'm just, I'm just saying that he doesn't necessarily. If, if, if I was KPMG guy, my partner doesn't necessarily have to know what's going on because yeah, yeah, of the way yeah, things are set a, yeah, up these days. Saying. You don't have access to my bank account. You've got your own. Even in in a, in a, in a, in the boundaries of a marriage, I have never seen that one's 
bank statement. He might have seen, but, but I've never seen it. So if you keep it that way, and you get somebody who's oblivious, man, we, we just keep on, you know, we're living the life. And then you, you say that, no, this is where I work. I work for an, a financial institution. And then she's like, nah, okay, no, cool. He's getting money. And she, she just never has to know. I said, if I won the lot, I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to make sense. <laughs> with you. I was getting chastised. I know, <laughs> but the way, the way I've been noticing things over the past few weeks, yeah. Linda, I, I, I wouldn't. But that's what I'm saying. Because, Whether it's the lot or it's a yeah, KPMG kind of situation, I'm keep, shutting up. Because you also want to keep everything normal. Yes. You want to yeah. keep as much normality as possible. Yes. Yeah. Because when you... And that's also probably then what happens is that you kind of then pull her in and then to some extent you have to give an explanation. Yeah. yeah. Right? To the fact that I'm going to buy a couple of cars. Mm. Mm. I'm going to buy you a range. I'm going to propose with a helicopter. I'm going to do a baby reveal with a helicopter. (laughs) We're going to do, you know... You know the the overseas trips and everything. Mm. You're gonna get the Louis bags, the Gucci bags, and that's gonna run like over Four like time. monthly. Yeah. Like whenever we whenever we nice, you're gonna see it. Or whenever I've hit yeah. it, it's yeah. it's it's now having to explain to the kid when they're sixteen. Mm. Yes. Because I'm thinking, what? How do you, as a mother, how do you frame your father, frame the baby's father? Because you can't go, oh, he was a great guy. He did all this for you. He spent it all. No, you say, daddy made a mistake. Yeah. You know, spoken, depending how deep like, you are. Like you know, you could have just been broke and been here. That would have been more valuable. <laughs> now you are Who wants rich. to? Nobody <laughs> likes being broke, okay? So daddy made a mistake. And it got him into jail, but he'll be out soon, you know? So by the time he's 16, how, is he, how long is he in there for? The, the, I don't know what the sentencing is, but they, I heard something about it being possibly 12 years. Please correct me if you have yeah, information. Yeah, I think he's projecting like 5 to 10 probably, depending on how much information yeah. he'll give and if it's worth the state. Yeah. Wor- uh, mm-hmm. the, yeah, the state and um, KPMG, I guess. Mm-hmm. Do we have like white collar type of jails? No. We don't have that kind of... Uh, I wonder. I wonder. I want to see Oscar Pistorius' cell before he uh-huh. got released. I feel like he was treated nicely. There's a reason why he was treated nicely. Why? Because he's um, handicapped. He had a he had a he had a friend in there that was not that was very scary. Hmm. He made he made friends with a gang leader. Is this public Is news? That? Public information? No, it's not. It's if you know, you know. <laughs> I'm giving you some stuff that you guys have absolutely no idea about. There's sure. a specific guy who was um, the head son of the head of the Croatian cartel. Mm. So if you do, but if you Google what I just said, you you'll find out a certain you'll find out whatever yeah. information. Yeah, he was he was friends with him in in jail. So he can so fund he his fine. movie. He was what? That guy can now fund his movie. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make your movie for yeah. you. <laughs> you want um, to say what? He's the guy that got Lolly Jackson killed. Actually, sorry, oh. the guy that killed Lolly Jackson <laughs> specifically. The guy that killed Lolly Jackson. But shouldn't we just like on like Justin J have those kind of people in our lives? Okay, Ellen. <laughs> okay. I, Ellen. I feel you, Ellen. It's just that it's not a conversation for the platform. You for the platform, yeah. yeah let's but leave, let's thank leave you the, for yeah, yeah, no validating. Guys, we are not encouraging. <laughs> Choose your friends wisely. Choose them very wisely. Stay in school. <laughs> Look left and right before you cross the road. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your podcasts. <laughs> <People>. <laughs> Because clearly. <laughs> okay, um, here's another conversation yeah. I wanted to have with you guys. Um, and this is work related. Someone said a micromanager is someone you pay to watch your top talent walk away. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. So yeah. this week, Elon Musk was in an interview and he said, and he's pushing back on his reputation as a micromanager. He mm. said the best employees, he says, actually needs, need little management. He said he wouldn't call it micromanagement. It's just insisting on attention to detail. Yeah. No, but tell me once. He says if you're trying to make a perfect product, then attention to detail is essential. No, no, but but I think what's key, what's key is the is is what he said, which is a full statement. Mm-hmm. He said something along the lines of the highest performers don't need micromanagement. Mm-hmm. Management, excuse me. Yeah, that's that's right. Like so, if you're a 
high performer like that, somebody that comprehends like high standard performance, etc. So if you're a high performer at that level for Elon, it's like you're paying attention to detail. And if you're a high performer, you'll pick up on what ticks yeah. him or what he's looking for and you'll adjust to that. You won't be micromanaged. Mm. Elon micromanages people that because I've heard him speak about the work his work environment. He micromanages people that are high performance individuals in theory and not actual practical. Because you were doing this at that company and it worked. And then you came here. And I'm saying, this is not good. I need you here. Yeah. So it's almost like, and I always do sports analogies. Like if you're in if you get into NBA and at college level you were the highest performing player. When you get in a team that has LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan, my man, you're not coming the same amount. Little you're not doing lab. the same amount of practice yeah. that you did for the team you're on right now. You know what I'm saying? You need to... So if you say, I'm a high performer, you're coming off college, mm -hmm. when you step into that team, you're not a high performer. You're a high performer in theory. Yeah. Now you need to high perform in practicality. So now he's got to micromanage you. Now he's got to say, yo... Yeah. I need you to do a thousand shots before you leave. But then and not ninety, not eighty-five, or not one hundred and eighty. Okay, but then you're essentially saying everyone then needs micromanagement. No, that's not what I'm saying. In the beginning, at the start of a new chapter, you need micromanagement because it's a different level. Yes, yes, and no, fifty-fifty. I guess. I I think let's 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 go let's go with the sports analogy. LeBron starting in the NBA was a different level from college. He needed to be micromanaged in the beginning. He found his momentum. No one needed to go, okay, LeBron, we're going to do yeah. this more. Yeah. I think the moment he changes teams, you need to be micromanaged again because you don't understand the culture. There's a different dynamic now. It doesn't work the same way. But no, I think but then the that same. has nothing to do with your your drive and and the fact that that you are high performing. That's just understanding the culture of the team, right? Mm -hmm. And understanding the culture yes, of the team is just is being immersed in what it is that they do. So you don't have yeah. to be micromanaged. Yeah, there. that's why I was like, I was also disagree. Uh, I was like fifty fifty yeah. about it because I feel like there is that two three months where you're catching what's the flow and standard of this year. Yeah. Then it's like okay, because sometimes what the guys will say is that they'll try suss out the standard here. They think it will probably be higher than the previous team, only to find that it's lower. Mm -hmm. Then what happens is that a LeBron, a Michael, a Kobe now has to take this whole team and bring brings them up. up. Yeah. You know, and then that's when you've got the star individuals. Um, I think to a certain degree, Elon is that, right? And I'll say to an extent of if you listen to if you listen in context how Elon Musk works. He's a billionaire. He owns about two or three companies. Six. Six companies. Mm -hmm. He's up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. working. Why? Mm -hmm. There's no need. But he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's yeah. on the, we have to result. We have to do 110 yeah. points on the board. We, that's, I'm in the gym. You guys went to the club. I'm in the gym. Yeah. That's where I'm at. He's, that's his whole mindset. And I always say to guys, I'm like, when people pull up to me and whatever, and with what we're doing, it's like, yo, you guys are always, and I'm like, but this is why we're here. You're still on the clock. Like, as long as you haven't retired or mm -hmm. you haven't sit, tapped out or the industry hasn't thrown you out or blah, blah, blah. As long as you, you're showing up to the game and you have a fixture next week, you need to be on the ball. Yeah. So do you, guys, do you guys flourish when you micromanage or do you, does it slow you down? I don't, I don't think micromanaging, though, is a positive. And hence what I was saying in the beginning that he was saying you're separating the two. Yeah. Like, if you're a star play performer, then you don't need to be micromanaged. Yeah, but it was also essentially saying it's not micromanaging isn't as bad as it sounds. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. So I was coming to the second part. I was like, the first part is that. The second part yeah. is the fact that um, I think micromanaging is negative, though, you know, because I do believe that if individuals um, can't come forward and do what they're supposed to do and you have to micromanage them, then you shouldn't have them. Yeah. On the team, or do you think whatever. that? Do you, do you yeah. also think that? Because yeah. I, I think, I think some people do need that. I guess sense of connection or communication. Yeah. Like as long as I feel connected to something, 
they might not they might not receive it as micromanaging you oh. are saying it's micromanaging but for okay. them it's like i need okay. to know that you are some kind of support in some yeah. sense and they perform so i do I think, think it has two sides to it i get you i get you maybe maybe it's then a conversation then of that like the individuals plus maybe a leadership style mm. it's definitely um, a leadership style yeah because uh yeah i'm not a, i'm not a big fan of micromanagement yeah I, i i dislike being put in a position where i have to micromanage um and that's that's because of how i am like you just you don't have to tell me things many times mm. probably just one or two times then we're good mm. you know and then i'm figuring out how to get to the end goal of whatever we've spoken about mm. versus like you know at every stage we're having a conversation i don't need a conversation at every stage yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. How do you feel about micromanagement? I've got like hectic trauma from like previous companies. It's so bad. <laughs> We have trauma. Yep. It's 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 yep. such it's White such a trauma. It's <laughs> Africans <laughs> trauma. Actually, I was going to say that, but then <laughs> they know who I was talking about. Apartheid trauma. <laughs> It's it's definitely a, a, a traumatic um, experience. The best and and i'm saying it in in a very cautious way the best thing to have happened is is covid you know um where yeah. now everybody's at home and i'm like i'm doing what i, I need to do there's going to be mistakes there's going to be times where you know you just you aren't maybe pulling your weight or whatever and somebody needs to come in and say hey look this is what we need you're not doing this etc cetera, etc cetera. i get that part but i just love the fact that there isn't anybody mm. on my neck the whole time i i <laughs> Yeah, because then I shut down. I shut down. Have you always been self-motivated or like you learned how to become that person? I think I learned how to become that person due to a certain employer that was just like, okay, so this is what we do. I was I was employed for one position and then I started moving into that position because they they just kept on coaching and no, just come and hang out and see, you know? And then eventually now you're doing things and you understand things and he coached and coached and coached and eventually he's like you're doing it. So why not? Because when he said, "Okay, I'm moving you into this." I'm like, "No, you can't. That's not what I'm qualified for. That's not what I'm I, you know, I do." And he's like, "You've been." And then I'm like, "Oh, okay." And that's how I started moving going forward because everything that I do, I want to have extra you know um just sometimes it's just good to know mm-hmm. you know what's what's going on around you mm-hmm. so that's how i do things uh, but if you are here all the time uh, shut yeah. down shout out to that my, my my mother my mother also navigated her career the same way mm-hmm. um and i think i got that definitely from her it was like dope advice yeah. where she was just like um she was this was much when she was at a lower stage in the uh the the company chain yeah <clears throat> structure excuse me the company structure uh she was applying for a promotion and she wasn't getting it for some time then she asked her boss like yeah. why is she not getting the job um because she had quali- she she was qualified on paper for the yeah. job then he said um you know the easiest way to actually get the job and here's a cheat code is if you learn to do the job <clears throat> and you're already doing the job before the actual promotion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because then on yes on paper, but even on practicality because if we change you next week we know you're going to be doing the yeah. job. Yeah. And when she started doing that, literally that's how she ran her whole career. Mm-hmm. And so you you kind of learn the job before mm-hmm. you know, um you 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 replace your boss before you become you replace your manager before you yeah. become before the you manager. Become you the replace manager. the boss before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. And it's interesting because you said the trauma came from white like Africans and yes, Bakona, you know, there's always somebody, but it was actually a white Africans man that got me into that kind of mindset. Mindset. Yeah. I think even for my mother so it was the same. They're not all they're not all that bad. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said they're not all. We must show you someone. <laughs> <laughs> but then now to yep. make things like I I saw something during the week where apparently Netbank's um HR head was dismissed because she said black people are lazier and more incompetent than white people. What I saw first was What race is this uh Netbank HR black people are and I was like it's got to be a Caucasian. It has to be. Oh, was it? It has to it be. It was Indian, wasn't it? It's a whole anele makosa zana mpungose. Oh. 
Hmm? Yeah. Right? Crazy. I'm like, and it's not right to say, you know, when, when you hear that there was a shootout at a school or whatever, like you're just crossing your fingers and you're like, please don't let it be a black person, please don't let it be a black person. Mm. And then it's a white person, you're like, sure. I yeah, mean, but it's never Jamal. It's, it was never, you know? So I was, I was <laughs> just like, please don't let it, please don't let it. And then it was like a whole annual, and I was like, oh man, why? You know? <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel like from a pure, from a pure point of view, they're basically going, see? We're not racist. We fire everyone. <laughs> exactly. Whether you're black and white, you, you're all getting it. I think. I think she might have. Um, she faced seven charges of um, alleged gross uh, misconduct. So yeah, yeah. but uh, I yeah, think. And you said she's HR. Uh, yes. yes. Head you, of executive head of human you can't resources. Can't say that, right, dog. Bank. You know what's crazy? I've <laughs> and. I've, I've grown, guys, now. <laughs> I like that. I said this. I said something similar mm. in university in a lecture. Oh, shoot. And we're talking about employment, I think. Yeah. Employment, unemployment. Unemployment, yeah, actually. Unemployment in the country, da, 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 da. And somebody was speaking on uh, the whole the whole conversation of like foreigners taking jobs, yeah. which has obviously yeah. been a conversation. And I was like, "Yo, if we're also being honest, I think black people are lazy. Mm. South African black people, I think they're lazy. So now, <laughs> yeah. So I'm remembering. Guys, please I'm do not chop this it. part. Listen to the full <laughs> conversation. Yeah, don't Kanye West me, please. I, I, I applaud you, please. So so yeah, I said that, and and at the time, my stance was just on the fact that. You know, we we have, you know, just like so many, I guess it's like looking for the opportunity. And if you understand how Nigeria works, right, in its infrastructure that's like also struggling as well yeah. in its own way. But I read, I've been reading this book on African billionaires and the Nigerian billionaires, like they also, they always give this interesting perspective that's very similar it's like in that chaos and the lack of, we found, we just took this here that's a lack mm -hmm. and kind of like leaned on that or the fact that there was a gap here, you supplied that. And that's essentially that's what everybody's doing. Yeah. And they were just also like confirming that there's so much money moving in Nigeria. The only issue is that your government entity um, or your, yeah, your government institution is their era is just not developing the country with yeah. the money that it, that yeah. is there but everybody everybody is making money in some way mm -hmm. because they're finding a way they're finding a solution not sitting with the problem yeah. and it's like, almost like a nigerian culture mm. and that's why you'll hear some nigerians speak about essay in that sense because it's almost like with essay we were we kind of like the cheese boy who grew up yeah. and then when you got older you oh, sorry you grew up with money mm -hmm. and then when you got a little bit older your parents kind of lost that level of money and it became normal and then you kind of had to now yeah. fill in the gap as well and now you're struggling to because you don't even know how mm -hmm. to yeah it's that you know is it not also um you get into a position and you know you you reach there and you you just go at it right and then eventually you realize that this one i won't like it doesn't matter which race you know laterally is it's just not they're not pulling their weight or i've got mm -hmm. more experience than they have and whatever mm -hmm. and now you're just like this is not fair i've spoken to you guys guys this is what i'm doing right here's my work and you guys just aren't paying me or you're not seeing me at least give me an explanation as to why it is that i'm not getting the promotions why am i not being seen etc cetera, etc cetera. Yeah. and then when they like ah, no, nah, they can't they don't give you a proper explanation you just like you know what i'm gonna do be a minimum yeah if you don't it doesn't matter which kind of employee they, you'll find other people um that will see what's happening. Maybe they'll give it a try once, twice, three times. And then after that, they're like, you know what, I'm out. And they go to a different company where they will be recognized. Some people don't have that option. And I'm not saying what she did is right, because obviously yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. some people don't have that option. And um, you just like, it's a, it's a go slow kind of thing. 
So I'm, yeah. I'm here. I've done what I needed to do. Don't ask me to stay past five. Don't ask me to because yeah. clearly when I do that, it's demotivating also, yeah. you know. So she might be looking at that and saying, you guys are lazy. <clears throat> But then now you're not asking me why it is that I'm taking my full one hour when the, we've got head, uh, deadlines and whatever, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. So, no, and I think what you're saying is so accurate because I think that's, that's like a big one yeah. in SA. To, because to a certain degree, SA is where the workforce conversation is concerned. Like we're overworked and underpaid. Yeah. Like that's damn for sure, especially then when you're sitting in the economy that you're sitting in. Yeah. And then you get that yeah. where people are like, I'm already, you know, I'm working, I'm working so hard for to just get this. You're not even paying me what I'm supposed to be. Getting. You're not even paying me what I'm supposed yeah. to be getting paid. So I'm going to do what, what, what we just agreed on. Mm. I'm not even going to do more, like yeah. you're saying, because I'm also just so straight, already stressed about things at home that, that because my numbers mm. are not making sense and I have to now navigate the other situations yeah. that have to do with the numbers. Yeah. So me stretching myself here, then getting home and being so drained that I can't even handle the rest yeah. of my life doesn't even make sense. Mm. So therefore, you're just going to get, you're going to get for what you're paying for, yeah. I guess. Mm. And then they go into the whole, yeah, uh, The, the, the older generation used to it was because they were operating out of fear 100% it was fear it, you and know. ignorance of the law yeah yeah yeah, exactly. yeah 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 sure I think so, that's one thing we've got to call our parents out on just say you didn't know the law mm. just say they abused you I know you glorify they hard abused work, you but, but at the same time even if they did know the law and then what you, you've got I no guess they say, were play, they're yeah. also in survival mode they're considering survival the, mode, yeah. the, the scenario they, they were placed in yeah Okay, we're running out of time. Do you guys want to? You, is there other news you want to bring up before? I had like three or four other points, but there's no time for that. Do you guys? Nah, I'm good. Well, we had we had uh, cut and fest this weekend. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Sold out. I see. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. Yeah. You guys. That Amazing. was that was really major. Um, was just like twelve thousand people. Mm. Um, yeah, really dope. You know, um, it's just very crazy. Like seeing what, you know, Ricky started, and just to see it every year. Mm be this thing and it just also gets bigger um seeing different faces on the stages yeah. as well and having these crazy moments really like just these really insane moments so yeah cards and faces weekend was really dope would that be is that would you say that's gonna be our coachella in the next five years yeah that, that would be the mecca of festivals in south africa well hip-hop and yeah. Ama piano. <clears throat> that was that was his vision at the core of it all it was like yeah we don't have a a Coachella or a ro Rolling Loud so more so it'll be like Rolling Loud because Coachella has the whole camping aspect mm. you know uh, and that's that's you know, I hate that stuff I, I hate that thing oh, camping yeah, no. why? well I want to try camping with my daughter like when she's older that's, yeah. that, I want to like let her see South Africa yeah that's um, dope that's but dope. the whole camping music festival no I want to go home when I'm done I enjoyed the artists I came for I'm done <laughs> let me tell you guys Great, no. right? Dude, I feel you, bro. <laughs> I was I was invited to Bacardi Holiday Club, yeah. and I'm like, okay, cool, dope. And because we we're gonna go meet with some some brand um, executives and whatever, have chats, and I'm like, okay, cool, we're gonna yeah. do this thing. They've sorted out logistics, tents. Uh, I kid you not, that week I bailed out because I was like, boy, ain't no way. <laughs> like a whole weekend, I'm camping out. Nah. But don't they have like other options? It's a, it's a tent and then they've got like a more glamping or whatever. Glamping kind of thing where it's Yeah, but the glamping structure, isn't really structure. really glamping. When it comes to when it comes to accommodation yeah. and sleeping at places, mm. I'm definitely bougie. Oh yeah, no, it's not Most definitely like hotel, please. <laughs> For a hotel, a comfortable bed, yeah. a shower, You know, because if you're going to say glamping, like I can give you an example of glamping because that ain't really glamping. Mm -hmm. There's glamping where it's like, it feels like this is my room. This is my actual yeah, hotel room. Yeah, it's just for mm -hmm. like and face value. The only thing is that if I step out, I'm stepping on ground yeah. and mm -hmm. there's a spring bug there. There's a, yeah. You know, and and yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I'm not doing I really that. can't. <laughs> it's like when I'm, it's like when I'm out and, and cold. Yeah. It's, like, it's the equivalent of that mm. forget it I don't care where we are what we're doing mm. I want to go home yeah. you know what I'm saying because it's un you're uncomfortable yeah I wanted to ask you guys do you think we should try for the next I mean what's the date today today's the 10th 11th Tenth. yeah uh, well for you guys it's the 13th do you think for the next month we need to try bring a representative in 
from each minority party because we're getting closer to election time what no, is the what's, conversation, what's conversation going to about? be what are we talking like? about? because I don't want to sit what's here everything we still talk about <laughs> <laughs> <because> until <laughs> perpendicular <laughs> to the <laughs> arrangement <laughs> of the wait no because no, we're getting close to election time I think yeah. I think South Africa's tired of hearing from the majors because they have nothing to say ANC has said nothing EFF, we had a point, unfortunately, where they were on the right track when they started. Now it's like, okay, you guys have joined the yeah. nothing group. DA has joined the nothing group. I think we should EFF maybe EFF is going to win, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, um, because one of the notes was Zuma just beat IEC in court. He's going to be on the ballot paper. Yeah, he, of course. Like, there was, What were they trying to fight? He's got over a million people already behind him. That's the MK a conversation? significant number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. will be, t- if he doesn't win, he will be top two, three. Maybe just under the DA. EFF will be fourth. I don't. Nah. EFF wins. Yeah, you, guys on are, you guys are you guys are forgetting. Watch watch the plot, right? Watch the plot when it gets closer. There's mm-hmm. a MK is being created for a coalition. Uh, this is no okay, way, yeah. If you search this, you're Maybe. not gonna find this anywhere. Yeah. I'm, this is just political games. Yeah. MK is is basically being set out for a coalition oh. somewhere. Who went to go have tea with Jacob Zuma? Okay, good point. But now I'm asking, do you like? Would you come on now, somebody? Also, maybe you guys in the comments. Yo, would anybody you, that's watching from a political party, political strategist out here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, campaign manager. <laughs> I, I think it might be interesting to hear, like, when we throw certain news at them, how do you respond to that? Because that tells us what your party stands for. You here to represent the party, not your opinions. I think all the chats are the same. Bro. All the chats are going to be the same. I that's why I was going to so? ask, like, why, really what's the conversation? Do. I think yeah. Rise. Rise might have something to say. I don't, what's Musi's party? Bossa or something? I, I think so. He might have something think, to say because there's a lady that there is pushing. She was on. She's on. Um, Blacks of South Africa. Mm. She's on. I think she's <laughs> on. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's that. A, is that a younger lady? Hold up. It's a younger lady. Yeah. yeah. She's on the latest episode of Popcorn and Cheese. Okay. Mm. Actually, so, so they're, they're punting hard. Yeah, they're going in actually. But um, you know, when is it best? Is to have just, we're just chilling. Like, here, everybody, like, I think people would, the, the regular subscribers and, and, you know, watchers of Before You Weekend would be able to say that Ellen is this type of person. I think that this is the type of person when she's at home and nobody's watching, I can sort of judge you know, what type of person she is. Because here, it's just, I say what I'm going to say. I would like to ask you know? Zuma, what do you think about cheating? Go. No, he's going to answer. That's the only thing about him. He's definitely going to answer oh, I think we're in a way that's response. not, you know, that's not a PR answer. He's, he's one person that's definitely going to answer um, it in a good way. <laughs> is it a cheating? Um, is it cheating or is it everybody being if, hated for? Um, you are... Um, <laughs> Right. Checking candidates for <laughs> this temple. Here's a cheating. Guys, I'm thinking of. I think I think it might. We got to. We're practically a month away. Huh? Hmm? huh? Huh? Sorry. Ellen, please repeat that. No. Um, no. Why this, are you looking this, at me like this, Mister? Mister. Off the cuff. Coming soon. She said. She said. Featuring Ellen on the first episode. <laughs> I'm. I'm thinking about it. Like I. I'm. I'm interested in how it works. I'm just interested in how it works. Oh, it's yeah. simple. What do you mean? How does it work? What do you mean? It's simple. No, I mean like after watching who was uh, uh, Mbuso Koza, right? And his um, interview with Penwell. I love the way he breaks things down. So I would like to hear from somebody who's able to break things down in that way. Sort of like explain to me what Istembu is about and how we found I the premise for the cuff. Things we're curious about. She can take the first episode. Do you want it? I don't know what you're wondering. It's very simple. It's just the marriage gang, marriage cartel. Mm-hmm. You're number one, two, or three. Mar- you, marriage you, cartel. You have, a, hey? you have a number on this. No, no I definitely don't want to be number one. That I know for sure. You don't. I want don't to be want number. to be. No- if if I was to enter into, and this is to somebody who might be watching, do not get any ideas, because you know how I roll. <laughs> and if you're a pastor, no, I'm. I'm I've moved. Hey. They've stopped. The DMs have stopped. Uh, this 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 it, potential it, it, person it, it, is it, it, it life. is in the industry. Which yeah, industry? Industry. That one that you 
Hectic. The one where still my girl leader had to say, so the sex addict, are you still there or not? No, oh, not that kind of. Not that industry. industry. No. Which industry? No, but Tom. And it's a potential somebody. It's not a pers- person that's in oh, my life. Okay. Yeah, oh well. There. Are you talking logistics? To big Leave big Zulu. <laughs> no, and I know no big Zulu. <laughs> So there's no way I'm going to like. Oh, you know. And he knows my ex, so now it's going to be kind of ox. Oh, no. okay. yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Zulu. Come on, you know, guys, it's been good. For, <laughs> also, guys, remember, if you can't watch us at work, we are on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, mm. and LinkedIn. Come on, take us off. Shout out, shout out. Nah, shout out. This was an interesting week. It's been a hectic week, actually, Yo, in SA. Yo, still even spoken about Marcus Yuster's secret lover. Wait, huh? wait. Wait, t- no, you said you mentioned that before. To. You have to. You have to. Marcus like, Yosta has a secret lover who wants to try make a claim to say Marcus Yosta must still pay for the life she has now. He is paying for everything. There was an article that showed everything that gets covered by him. Yeah. She gets 10,000 Rand for personal expenses. Her rent gets paid. Rates and utilities. Listen, her rates and utilities is 10K. That's outside of rent. Where are you living where rates and utilities is 10K? What estate is that? Is the state you don't know about, Tige. That's Probably. where he's... That's yeah. where he's um, groceries. Ten, groceries, 10,000. You live alone. I know, guys. I mean... What I, are you eating? I spend, she's but eating I, take there's no 10K. Um, what, else, what else stood out on that, on that list? She's eating kawaii every, every day. Um, of DSTV gets covered. It, the simple stuff, all the other stuff the gets covered. Stuff. Yeah. But she doesn't pay for anything, basically. List. But yeah, she doesn't do anything. I mean, if you're going to help him cheat, you better, you better set up a savings account because someone's going to commit suicide soon. Make sure you're good when he's, di- when he's dead. <laughs> like, must we teach you everything? Exactly. Women are <laughs> too. If, if that's the way you want to roll, get clever with it. Like, seriously. <laughs> that's it. So she's claiming that he must still pay after he's gone. Yeah. Apparently, by law, if you can prove that this person's been paying for your life, that he's liable to continue. Well, so then, the state so whatever's, the state yeah, whatever's in his will or whatever, now must, there has to be divided. Oh, damn. There what? It's, he must pay? Let him pay? Uh, I, I, don't know if I, I, don't know, I don't know the full information, but like, similar to like the Ricky Rick, uh, Bianca conversation, by law, if Bianca, I don't know what, what the story was there, but by law, if Bianca could prove, oh, but Ricky Rick was doing all these things, um, whether I'm married by married confirmed by home affairs or not, mm-hmm. the bank statements prove that he's been funding my life. Yeah. So therefore, I'm the wife, to yes. quote unquote. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Oh, lastly, I just remembered Laugh Africa Comedy Festival this weekend. Eddie Griffin. Man, I really wanted to go. Ah, damn, my brother. Ah, uh, yeah, ex- yeah, but you know, yeah. I'm a new father. Yeah, father, choose exactly. Ah, your, ah, choose Ellen. your podcast yeah, peeps. Access to it. No. Choose your podcast peeps nicely. I was nicely. working. No, but then you you know. I don't know. Okay, assume. I know now. From going forward, assume. And then say, we guys. Go before your weekend. Did Eddie Griffin come? But I will say this, and I need the comments to just say what they need to say. Yeah. Eddie Griffin was underwhelming. Okay, say bye. Underwhelming. Are you touched? I could name two essay comedians legends, that guys. washed him. Washed. Yes, I use the word. Legend or like, not, it doesn't matter. Proper. South There's, Africa I was, I was needs disappointed. to be recognized. I was. Because I love everything that Eddie's on yeah. show-wise. I mean, Eddie, Eddie and Martin Lawrence come from that era of very physical comedy, impersonations and all that stuff. Yeah, which he did at, only at the end. Oh. The impersonation thing, mm-hmm. which I don't think whether he led with it or not, it's not really like the. Uh, his he writing just wasn't said, good. Uh, it's he South Africa. Just, they're gonna accept and yes, like whatever I come with. He he did he that. Disrespected South he Africa. disrespected. I get that. Yep. Mm-hmm. So Nicki Minaj, when you come back, don't do what you did last time. I was so I was <laughs> so upset so with personal. you. I was so upset with her. <laughs> just like, you got a kid. Can we go home now? I gotta. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's been another week of Before You Weekend. Please continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, Yes, and let us know if you want the the off-the-cuff show that TK is talking about. I don't know. I'm very nervous about this thing that TK wants to do. But Ellen is our first ambassador yes. and she lead us so we need to go comrade <laughs> yeah so yes please continue to engage with us and let us know what you want us to talk about comment in the section based on whatever you you watch send this to a friend or a relative or somebody and please don't get fired on our account 
do download the episode, <laughs> watch it as you get home or yes. watch it the next day in the morning when your boss hasn't come into the office yet. Check us on Spotify as well. This is Before You Weekend where we talk about the week before it ends. Watch it before you weekend.